Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel tonight, guys. We do have a video going up uh, before Rewards Day, before Foot Birthday. Um, we're going to be talking about Foot Birthday, man. That's what's going to be the, the main point of this video today. It's going to actually be not only the main point, probably the only thing that I talk about in the video tonight. So if you guys enjoy the video today, a thumbs up is very, very appreciated. Uh, again, I want to say thank you to you guys for the continued support. I know that as... A lot of you guys are FIFA players. There has been a lot of ups and downs of FIFA recently. Uh, I'm going to try my best to keep speaking things in a factual uh, and a realistic manner, but also uh, a constructive and hopefully uh, manner that can present some solutions. And, and that's something that I talked about today in my stream is that I really, going forward with EA, I want to, every time they do something wrong, I want to now present the solution. I don't want to just complain Every time that I feel like something is wrong with EA or something they do is not a good decision, I want to present a solution that I feel like is fit for the majority of the player base. I think that's the most proactive and the best way to go about it. But that's just a little bit of a summary. We're summing up the stream today. If you guys want to check that out, it is up on Twitch. Um, and just thank you to you guys uh, for the support on the streams and the videos. I know it hasn't been as consistent recently. I've been really tired. Uh, just, I don't know, man. I've been feeling off recently. So last couple of weeks, just been really tired. I've been... Snap myself back into a lot of uh, a workout grind, right? Getting back into gear with that could be a reason. Also, just it's been a long year. I think it's been a long year for everybody, and it, it's been definitely catching up with me the last couple weeks. So, trying to take the rest that I can, guys. But tonight, you know, all, all, all that stuff aside, I know we just talked about a ton of stuff. Uh, we have a video that's going to be fun. We're going to talk about foot birthday, guys. We're going to talk about what to expect um, and all that good stuff, man. And if you guys are looking forward to foot birthday, um, you know, drop a thumbs up on the video. And I guess in the comments down below, at this point in time, you know, let me know what you guys think. Let me know who you, who you guys think we could see. Um, you know, I, I know I'm certainly interested for this promo. It's one that I, I'm really looking forward to. Um, and hopefully you guys are looking forward to it too. So first of all, what is Foot Birthday? Guys, Foot Birthday is something a little bit different every single year. Um, last year, Foot Birthday contained pretty much uh, a lot of really meta cards. And we talked about this this week, but... We had cards like Foot Birthday and Bappe last year. I mean, this guy was a five-star, five-star uh, card. He was literally incredible. I mean, this was one of the – that I ended up, you know, getting so mad playing this card so many times. I mean, I picked him up, and he was just crazy. I mean, the team of the year is crazy, but having the 5-5 five, five was so big last year. So we've got that Foot Birthday and Bappe. We had Foot Birthday, Griezmann. We had five-star skill Hazard. Um, and, and you have even cards that are affordable, right? Like Munain with the five-star weak foot. And this guy is 155K. You know, and it, it, it's a Spanish cam. So you, this promo is a really nice promo, uh, just because it's 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 a fun one, man. I think I think it always delivers. Uh, sometimes we get loyalty rewards with this promo, and if you guys don't know what loyalty rewards are, basically, you know, usually if you log in a certain amount of days, if you do certain things like that, you will get rewarded for that. You sometimes we get 100, 125k packs. It really just depends. Uh, on the way, I guess, that EA are feeling in that given week. Um, and I think something unique that will be this year with foot birthdays, we'll have some Icon SBCs. I think that EA will drop some pretty big Icon SBCs this foot birthday. EA used to, for big promos, do a, a part of the promo used to be, hey, we're going to bring out Icon SBCs. And, and, and this is specifically highlighting 19. In 19's promos towards the end, some of the bigger promos, EA was like, hey, we're going to drop Icon SBCs or big Icon SBCs. And usually the larger the promo... Uh, the larger the scale of the icon. So here's the whole thing. And look, just as we say it right now, I've actually been pretty content that it looks like we're going to be getting a lot of moments SBC. So I don't know when that's going to be, but that's another positive. Ozil was an SBC last year. Uh, again, we talked about it. You had this Rashford card, uh, five star, five star. So this is a cool one, right? And a lot of these players last year was the year of the, uh, well, I think a lot of these guys last year were pretty big in terms of uh, you know, weak, weak foot and skill moves. That was kind of the main, I, I think it actually might've just been the weak foot, right? Well, or skill move, right? Because Hazard had five star or four star. I guess Rashford last year, what was his gold card? It was Rashford's gold card, five star skill. So they added the five star weak foot. So last year, these guys, Mbappe, obviously five star skills got the five star weak foot. So it was weak foot or skill moves last year. But again, pretty good low budget cards there as well. You see that Theo Hernandez, you see the Lozano, uh, you've got a, a variety of good low, bu low budget cards as well. The second team was really cool too. It was a lot more rare. Uh, we had the SAR as an SBC. The SBCs were okay last year. They weren't anything incredible, but we had this Gareth Bale. 
I think Bale was also very expensive, right? Bale was like 1.5 mil. So Bale was very expensive. Bale was a fun car. A lot of people were looking at that guy. Um, so yeah, Bale uh, had the five-star weak foot and the four-star skills. I mean, a lot of players, the, the goal of this promo is that you get a lot of players that, yes, are already meta, but also players that could be really meta that just kind of need the ingredients like Di Maria. That was a, a, an affordable card for a lot of these pros. He was, uh, I think he was 5'5". Five, five. I think that was the biggest thing with Di Maria. He was 5'5". Five, five. Um, so yeah, again, a lot of these cards end up rivaling end game cards because they offer the five, five, right? And that a lot of them do not all of them, but a lot of them have these very unique, like position change boosts, like skill move boost, weak foot boost, right? And uh, not position change, but the year before I think was position change. And I want to point that out. So this is a very unique promo. This is the, this is the really guys, the way I'm assuming now EA have slowed down the, the, um, the power curve a lot this year, right? And and compared to last year, whereas we we had like shapeshifters, we had some crazy promo cards last year. Um, they've they've slowed that down a bit this year, and I think I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I think team of the season cards this year are going to be crazy. Like last year, I think they were good, but I think there was already cards that competed. Whereas I think by the time we get to team of the season this year, they're going to be noticeably insane. Uh, so look, I, they may change it this year. It may not be five five, and I just want you guys to be prepared for that. It doesn't mean it's going to be five-star, five-star promo, guys, because look, la the year before that in FIFA 19, we had position change promo, right? All of these guys were position change. We had a Cam Leroy Sané who was playing left wing the whole entire year. We had a Cam Coutinho. I mean, this Coutinho was playing uh, left wing all year. So we had position changes left, right, and center with these guys. We had this Douglas Costa who was a Cam. Uh, you know, he, he, he was a left mid. So you're seeing that we're getting a lot. It's, we had set... Striker Van Dyke, right? Striker Van Dyke, obviously CDM Van Dyke. If you're going to get this version of Van Dyke, you know, with the medium, medium work rates, you're obviously going to play him as a CDM. Why would you play Van Dyke as a striker? I don't know who would do that. But yeah, a lot of hype on some of these guys. Right wing Griezmann, we had a striker bail. Um, you know, and I think I think I'm just as hyped for this one as I would be with a, with a skill move weak foot promo. I, I really don't care. I think flip birthday generally is really fun. And, and you guys can see the player selection. These are big time players. Aubameyang, Son, Walker, Martial, Promise. Promise is a huge FIFA card. Uh, Mounier is not necessarily like the most meta card, but he's very linkable at the PSG. Uh, you know, so look, there's going to be a lot of, I think, decent players that come out starting Friday. Now, I think this is going to be a two week promo. I think we'll have some really cool objectives. I think we'll also have not only some cool objectives, but we'll also have some really good SBCs. And that's what I'm hoping for. Um, yeah, so not to mention, I mean, that was that team. Even in FIFA 18, guys, look, obviously you guys can see the ratings over the years have increased, right? Like back in FIFA 18, uh, the, the EA was just kind of all over the place, right? We, we had a promo where we had 81s and we had 95s. It was just it was just all over the place. But you guys can see, I mean, the types and the levels of players that you get in for birthday are always very good for the most part, at least recently, right? For birthday Ronaldo, for birthday Royce, for birthday Hazard. Um, for birthday Di Maria. So this to me, you know, was also a crazy promo. For, for birthday left back Bale. Um, for birthday center mid Alaba. Look at that Alaba card. Look at that Florenzi, man. Florenzi was so hyped, by the way. I remember when this card came out, people were going crazy for this guy. But it also shows you, right, as he was 430K, there are so many more coins available in FIFA nowadays. I mean, it's pretty crazy to see it. Uh, but, but there really is. I mean, even these crazy cards like Hazard was, sick, you know, 700, 600K. Uh, whereas right now, if any of those cards drop, I mean, they're in the millions, right? And that's, that's just inflation at its best. Even this bail, uh, this bail was like 700 K even. So yes, boys, it is, it is crazy to see. It is crazy to see. And, and look the way that I see it and the way that EA have done it. And I'm wondering if I can pull up the 17 one here, but, uh, yeah, I mean, look, I think over the years, like EA have definitely made this promo all about being basically the meta promo that competes with team of the season. I mean, even in FIFA 19, when we only had the position changes, I would go, I would go on my word to say that a lot of those cards actually really competed with team of the seasons. Um, even in 19, those cards were so good. So yeah, I mean, even in 17, 17 was more about like legends. I thought that were like maybe not that usable or towards the end of their careers and and ea or big fifa players like fifa cards that people like like Blash, blashkovsky was a big one and ea just kind of giving them solid boost that's what i thought this one was about right like dumbia torres david via nani el shar we had cole kandreva but 17 was very weird because at the same point 
not only did we get these cards, EA also released like premium SBCs. Like I had this El Char in FIFA uh, 17. It was just, it was weird. The way they did this promo was actually very weird in FIFA 17. Like looking back on it, I, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the way that EA did this promo in 17. I think they could have done some things better with this promo. But obviously you guys can see that Foot Birthday is a very fun promo no matter what. Um, I saw this article on Twitter today from Real Sports. Um, you know, check it out if you guys are interested. Obviously, if I use anybody's stuff on a video, always check it out, right? These guys are always promoting really good, really good stuff. Uh, this is just like a little bit of a prediction. They have Allison as Piliqueta as a center back, Van Dyke. I, I don't know if Van Dyke is gonna get it. Uh, we'll see. We've got a Cooley Bali here, Apollo Dybala right wing. This is something that I would really like, and the reason for that is that we had a carnival version of this card, and he was so fun. He was a really, really fun player in FIFA 19. So Carnival is, is obviously scrapped this year. I think a De Jong would be crazy. Um, De Jong would be really cool. Uh, Modric, Hazard with the left wing card. Uh, obviously, he is a left wing, but a 94 Hazard. A Sterling. I think Sterling would be cool. Immobile. Neymar, right? Obviously, Neymar. Neymar is the big one. I think that we're going to get, in my opinion, Neymar, Messi, and Ronaldo. I'm going to go on a limb and say this right now. I think we're going to get two out of three. I really do. I think we're going to get two out of three cards uh, well, sorry, two out of three of those players asked for birthday cards this year. I think EA is going to do it um, again. We will see. Now, in terms of expired SBCs, I wanted to talk about this. Uh, during foot birthday last year, I think we had the flashback Hulk. If not, this was like right after foot birthday. But uh, foot birthday party bag. So the way that we had it was we had two of these. And um, one was a foot birthday player, a foot shapeshifters, or a winter refresh, right? The other one was a foot birthday, foot future stars, or foot shapeshifters. So we we had this that it came out, and and I think that we're gonna get a party bag. Um, basically, I think EA will probably get rid of. Uh, I'm gonna assume record breaker and um, rule uh, rule breaker, or they might just get rid of both rule breaker teams and put in both foot birthday teams, right? That's what I think we're gonna we're gonna get. So that's also something to look forward to, and just make sure, guys. This is my advice you know, heading into this promo, we probably won't have any crazy SBC content on Friday or Saturday in my, my, my best guess. Um, monet a lot of people are saving packs this Friday, a lot. Um, now 84s went up a little bit today. I think just see if the 84, the 83 and the 85s drop in the next couple, you know, in the next couple of days, you know, you're going to get tomorrow. You guys might be watching this video on rewards day. Rewards they bring some supply to the market with the golds. Friday, we've got crazy amounts of saved packs. People are going to rip packs. There's going to be a lot of supply after 1 p.m. You guys have to be realistic. We have not had a promo on FIFA in like three weeks, like a real promo. Like Foot Player Days was not really a promo. So that's another thing to consider. Um, <clears throat> so you're going to have supply. And I think it's a good time for you guys if you want to participate in these SBCs. Foot Birthday Party Bag. Um, maybe there's going to be a crazy player that comes out. I don't know, right? Make sure you do a club stock because there's nothing worse than having to scramble doing an SBC and you're looking at every 84 in the game being 25, 20K, 85, 30K. You don't want that situation to happen. So just make sure that you monitor this. You, you, you check it out because these are probably SBCs if we have good foot birthday cards that you guys are going to want to participate in. Now, we also had a foot birthday center back mono loss with a five-star weak foot. This was a pretty cool card. Uh, this guy was 168K, 85 squad, right? Not a bad card. Uh, in my opinion, not a bad card. Footman's going to have to load this up here. We're going back in ancient time here. Uh, we had a foot 20 SBC, which is an 86 plus player for 50K. This was a scam. I think that was the day that I actually made a rent video on that SBC. We had five-star skill, Nick Pope. This is a very popular player that came out. Uh, we had an oldie but goldie SBC. And, and this one you could choose between s -Wine and Gervinho. These were two legends of the game. Obviously, if you guys don't know who Gervinho or s -Wine is, you can unfollow from my channel because... You guys are not a part of the OG community. Actually, we welcome all new members, but you guys missed out on foot history because those two were incredible. Uh, we've got a foot 19, 84 plus with a team of the week upgrade. Uh, throwback marquee matchups. Don't really know what's going on there. 80 plus upgrade player pick. So, guys, I think that this will come out again on Sunday or Monday. Look, we've had two sets of 81 plus double in a row now. I think it's time for EA to give out the player pick one. They usually alternate it. Uh, and then this 81 plus, I think, expires tomorrow or Friday. So I would assume that we'll get the player picks on Sunday. And that's a big deal. Player picks are really good. And I think what's really important to mention right now, guys, is not only are player picks good, 
we've also we're also in a in a time period where we've got icon species and we've got Nedved, Zambrata, and Makaleli, who are three very good icons. I would go as far to say that Zambrata is an endgame player, like total endgame, like you could use him at an event, he's that meta. So look, the player picks are a big W because these are these are icon species that are, you know, they're not they're not the cheapest, right? They're not the cheapest. So I think for me, when I look at it like that, I'm like, okay, wow, like that's that's actually gonna be really cool when we do get the player picks. Um, and I'm looking forward to a potentially a really good objective. That's also what I'm looking forward to. I think the objective content has been okay recently. Uh, then we also had some weird stuff like flashback Bia Biani, right? Like, what was this? I think he was three star, three star on 160k. Again, foot birthday party bag exchange of foot birthday team number one, foot shift, uh, shape shifters, or winter refresh. We had three total party bags, guys. This one was 186k. We had Sar with a five star skill move upgrade. So, center back with five star skills, 188k. We had all the daily <clears throat> uh, packs. Uh, then we had Adele Tarabat. Uh, shout out to Adam, my boy, who was killing it with this card. And player moments, Aaron Ramsey. So the SPC content was okay. Amavi, Ozil. I think these both came out. I feel like I feel like Amavi came out on the Saturday. But uh, yeah, you guys can see like pretty unique stuff, right? Five star weak foot upgrade, five star skill. Maybe not the best player uh, selection, but some decent stuff. And can you guys imagine if this SBC came out this weekend, eighty four to ninety one for fifteen k? Can you guys imagine if that actually came out? What did this require? I got to see what this required, man. Now, now I'm really interested. This required an 83 squad. Can you guys imagine if this came out? Because if this came out, oh my God, everybody in the world would do this SBC. This would be the most completed SBC of the year. Because right now, the fodder market is out of this world. It's literally crazy. Who is running the fodder market? I don't know, bro. I don't know who is doing this. But it's crazy, man. It's crazy this year with the fodder. It's like the craziest thing I've ever seen. Because now we're getting EA are now in this system and scheduled where we're getting like this weekly SBC. Everybody's doing it. And it's kind of on this crazy, crazy hectic schedule. So, yeah, boys, for me to get ready for foot birthday, I'm not doing much. I do expect a little bit of a market rise on this Thursday. And then I, I've got some saved packs, guys. I'm saving packs. And then I've also got a club, you know, to go through because I am going to... I'm going to filter in all of my like gold and rares and non-rares into the 81 plus double because it's only until Friday. I don't think we're going to play your picks till Sunday and I'll have a big pack opening on Friday on my Twitch. So if you guys want to come out and chill, check that out and just check out Foot Birthday on Friday. We will be live around the drop of, of the content. So Foot Birthday is coming, guys. You know, let's see what happens. Um, obviously, it's something to be really excited for in my opinion. I think it's it's really the first promo in a while that I'm certainly excited for. Um, this is a promo that is legit. So thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you guys are well. See you guys later. Peace.